Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today I'm going to do the Hackers Paradise Online Society event. It's been a while since I've showcased my own society on the channel. Uh, I just feel the last time I've done it, I did not get as many views as I would have liked to have. So hopefully this one does better on the channel, guys. A huge shout out to Easy Money MG who won the, the previous event on the Hackers Paradise, which was the Happy Gilmer Pro-Am. As you can see, he won it quite convincingly. Um, he was six shots ahead, or took six shots less than second place, which was Sire, who is Jack, and Keith P1969. Good also to see Daza and the Flying Scotsman up there, and Hami, a lot of Scots, a lot of Americans, and yours truly finished tied 57th. I had a nightmare right so i am hoping to do better in today's event which should be the shooter mcgavin tour Hello, and so guys welcome back to round two of the shooter mcgavin tour at monte servino hosted by the hackers paradise after my average first round i'm way off the leaderboard i'm not seeing what the round two leaders are at but i was six five shots off the opening round one leader so i'm just lofting this right up guys so i don't run out of fairway and as you can see straight away it's a lot milder winds to what i had round one and um, just really struggling with my tempo swing guys as i've been highlighting hopefully i'm not going to get accused of hacking anymore because i'm sick to the teeth it just jealous people if you ask me i'm clearly no hacker so 162 yards three six nine probably now i'm not doing well a lot of these guys who were accusing me of hackers will battle their heads into the hole hopefully three six nine i'm just going to add four yards onto that so one six six just taking a tiny bit off of this and hoping the wind's going to help me out here as well is a better strike perfect perfect and i'm hoping this is close this should be all over this pin great approach shot and he's on the green and this for the green so eight feet one inch break into the right very minimal. These are the kinds of putts I was missing in round one, guys. Once again, the putter star is real. It's crazy. No, and it's another one I have missed, guys. And I've really put that about six feet past. So my putting is really letting me down. But I am getting a lot of stutters on the putting. Which is concerning. Half of these issues were meant to be resolved. Clearly not. So 20 under is the top of the leaderboard so far by Fez 69. So let's move on to hole two. And this is where I bogeyed the last time. So I'm just playing safe this time, guys. There's no way I'm trying to fade this round or draw it round, should I say. That's a slope, so it's just going to go hard right. Hopefully I have enough fairway to work with. I should have. So once again, guys, my swing tempo is just all over the place, and I am really struggling to rectify this. 168 yards, up 4 yards, so that is playing 172. I am just playing this. Ball's going to want to shoot left, and the wind's going to want to take me left. That is a better strike, and that should be all over this pin. It should be all over this flag. It is. So I really need to start making these birdies, guys. 
I am playing good approach shots. My pattern is just really letting me down. And I have rammed that into the cup. So that takes me to seven under 13 shots behind the leader. There's no way I'm going to shoot 13 under par this round, guys. I can assure you. So that is playing 202 yards. One slightly to the left. Better strike. I'm hoping I'm rewarded here because I do feel this should be close. Longer than what I anticipated, so it's just going to run off the green and it's going to leave me a chip shot. I have not been as successful with the chip shots as of late, guys. These are quite tough greens here, though, to be fair. That should just make its way down and turn, turn. Yes, boom. So delighted with that. So, that has now took me to 2 under for the round, 8 under for the event. And I don't think I can hit the right. Well, can I? I'm going to take it on. I'm not actually, I'm going to drop down to the three wood. I think that would actually be silly to risk running out. And I put a slow in that and I will be in the bunker or the rough this time. This is not looking promising. Yeah. Just really struggling with my tempo swing, guys, and it is getting really frustrating because I do not know what I'm doing wrong. If obviously if I knew what I was doing wrong, I'd be able to correct it. So that I'm playing one three one. I'm saying that's playing. So I, I'm gonna have to play this and still take a lot off of it, and I don't even know if it's going to get there. Good strike. It's going to be short. Just checked into the rough. So six yards. Going to have to chip it. So I'm just looking to save par here to be fair. Not a well played shot guys. And that ball is probably going to come off the green. Terrible shot, so I will be dropping a shot here unless I can chip this in. Nah, so it is a drop shot. That will take me back to one under for the round, seven under for the t event. So, zero mile per hour wind. I am playing this. But the way I'm swinging, this could go anywhere. And I tell you what, I've just got no confidence in my shots at the moment, guys. I'm really hesitant now on the backswing. So, if there is long pauses during the video, I do apologize. I just do not know what I'm doing wrong. So, that thankfully was a good swing. I'm just I'm just attacking everything now, guys. I feel I have to. And if I get a slow here, I'm in big trouble. Ball is going to shoot off to the right. It is a perfect, perfect. I do feel this should hit the green. Did really loft that up. It's just going to run out, hopefully. Just find the fringe, thankfully for me, or otherwise it would have been a long putt. It's 12 yards, one foot down. Just looking to get this running down the slope, guys, to be fair. Go on, go on, go on, keep going, keep going. Should turn out quite good. 
probably left my cell about a six foot putt. Eight feet. Two inches downhill. This should be makeable. Looks good. And I do get the birdie, so I get that drop shot straight back, thankfully. So, back to two under for the round, eight under for the event. It's hardly setting the, the header alight, as you would say, but... I'm competing. So there's no way I can hit driver here. Just looking to loft this three, wee, three wood up. That's a far better strike. This should leave me just a nice approach shot. Should be about an 8 iron, 9 iron. 9 iron, so that's playing 139. So I'm hoping this has got enough club. It is going to shoot to the right. There's another perfect, perfect. This should be all over the pin, I would imagine. I was yardage was bang on, but unfortunately, the line was off. It's probably going to be about a 17 foot putt, I would imagine. 10 foot, done my sell out there. So breaking to the left and then very minimally to the right. So I'm just actually playing this straight, guys. I do feel it's got enough to get there. It's looking good. And it is. So at last, some of these putts are starting to drop. Slowly moving up the leaderboard. Nine under. 11 shots behind the leader. Three under for the round. So that is playing to... 176. Just playing this. And there's a the slow again, and that's going to bite my ass because I'm going to go so far right. Yeah, this shot is taken yeah. Branches. not even close. Club, I think. So I do feel I've probably got to play this chip shot here, guys. I am not risking the flop shot. Just hoping to get this running up towards the pin. And that is way short. Criminally short. So it is going to be a long par putt. And to save par. 16 feet, 4 inches up. It's not turning at all. Start to turn after the hole. So that is another bogey, and my player is cringefully um, celebrating that. It's the, the game has went to pot, if you ask me, guys. I do not know why they would add that. It's adding salt to my wounds. So, just lofting this right up. Perfect, perfect, but I pushed that left and it's probably going to be rough. Maybe even bunkered unless I get a nice bounce. Thankfully, the fairway slope at the right and I do bounce yeah, out of there. Like that. From 170 yards out. So 172 yards up five, so 177. This is really what I'm going to break to the right. There's a slow again, guys, so I'm just going to go so far right, it's going to be insane. Good. And wow, that's actually maybe done me a favour. Maybe I aimed too far left for the break there. So it's kind of got away with one. And it has given me a birdie opportunity, but it wasn't through skill. That was just pure luck. 11 foot putt, breaking to the right, 2 inches up, 
Looks good. And I do get an undeserved birdie there, to be fair. So I get that drop shot back again. Move to three under, and I need to stop dropping shots. I need to stop playing perfect slows, which I am playing more. It used to be perfect fasts. There's, once again, guys, perfect slow. So, uh, look out. I at the moment, I have no fix for my swing. I really, really don't. It is frustrating me. It really, really is. I'm not enjoying the game as much as I did. Not due to the fact that I'm not doing as well. But just due to the fact that I do not know what I'm doing wrong. I cannot put my finger on this, guys. Um, I do know a lot of people are finding the tour clubs easy. But a lot of people are saying... Their tempo swing has went to fuck as well, just like mine. So that is a perfect, perfect way left. But I'm just hoping to get this out and get, run down the fairway. <clears throat> Leave myself a fairly short approach shot. And maybe I'm going to have to start swinging quicker. 3, 6, 9, 12. So 170, that's playing. I'm just playing this. Looks like a seven it's probably the best strike I've played all day. It's probably going to be long. It's checked up fairly. It's checked up fairly okay. And this for the so these greens are tough. 11 feet 4 inches down. These are tough greens. I'm not going to lie. Nah. So close. Wow. Probably going to be an hour drop shot now, guys. I just touched that ball. About 9 feet, nine feet 2 inches up. Breaking to the left. Oh. So I do manage to drain a par putt there. That is a par save. So I've cut out the, the birdie bogey, birdie bogey scenario. For the time being. So hole 10. Just going to loft that up again. Do hit a perfect, perfect. And once again... I've just realised I thought I had a driver in this hole the last time. I didn't. It's a six wood. I think I played a carbon copy. Carbon win. copy. So 62 yards up seven feet. So that is playing 64. Just checking that up again. Maybe a bit more. And that should be all over that. Really good shot, and it has gave me about a three feet putt for birdie. And this putt is for birdie. Five feet. Which I ram home. So I, I, I was given a shot here. Let me just check on the previous hole. The previous time I played it. Wow, look at this Fez guy. Look how many shots he's been given. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So Fez is basically 12 under. 12 under. Before he hits a ball. Holy Jesus Christ. I can see how he's leading. Wow. Wow. And I take it Fez is actually not playing in this event because he is off the red tees. I'm sure he is a current leaderboard. So I do get a shot here. So leaderboard. It is Fez at 20 under. So. Wow. 
so it's such a leveler guys for the for the high handicappers but that is the way it is and i think it is the best way to go to give everyone the best opportunity to compete in There is a perfect, perfect, deadly straight. That should really work out well for me. Is a good bounce. Probably just going to be short at 300 yards, 298. So, 187. I did birdie this the last time, which meant I got an eagle. 187 yards, two feet down. So that's playing, let's say, 186. With that one behind me, I'm just going to play that, this yardage here, hoping the wind's going to take me round. It's a good strike. I'm confident this is going to be good, you know. It should trickle on the green. That is an excellent shot, and if I could get another birdie here and give me an eagle... It's really going to improve my scorecard. Five foot, two inches down, nothing to this really. So I do get a birdie there and once again it's going to count as an eagle as it did previously. So I am now 12 under. <clears throat> so six under for this round, 12 under for the event. Hopefully I'm going to gain a bit of confidence from this here guys. Perfect, perfect again, and that should be a great drive. Pretty good so far. Wow. Wow, I think it done that previous round as well. Awful kick. So I'm certainly playing safer this time, guys. I'm just going to get this ball down here. Is a slow so that is going to go right but it shouldn't be too much of a problem and hopefully I've just left myself a pitch shot which hopefully I can land close to the pin and get another birdie so 54 yards basically 56 yards I'm hoping I can get this close. I have put a slow on that, but it shouldn't really matter. That should check up for me nicely. Oh, it's got a chance of going in. Why, what a shot. Delighted with that. And that is going to give me a birdie opportunity, which it does. So I am slowly making grinds on the current leaders, guys. I am now only seven shots behind. So that is playing 188. I do you feel this has got enough club? There is a perfect, perfect. I am confident this should be close. That should hold up. No, it's not. I think it might come back off of the slope, though. Come back down towards the hole. No, it's just going to stay there, unfortunately. So it's going to be about a 20-foot putt. 22 foot putt, 5 inches down. See, this is what I don't get. That ball should have rolled back down that slope. I've really just got to watch what I'm doing here. This is a tough putt come on come on that is really st that is stopped painfully short I don't get that 8 feet so I do manage to get the par of it disappointed putt there so 
We'll remain at seven under for the round. Thirteen under for the event. Just really lofting this driver up again. Really good strike. So that is going to leave me a decent approach shot. Now I think you'll like that. And about 160 yards Maybe to the six. So one, six, one. Let's say that's playing. One, five, eight. Like I'm playing that, and I'm just going right at the pin. Far better strike, space bar straight. Hopefully this is all over. This pin should bounce on a bit for me. Probably going to be about 10 feet, 11 feet. 12 feet. Very tough putt, actually. Get in. Boom. So my pattern has drastically improved from round one. And I'm now six shots off the lead. With four shots to play. Four holes to play, sorry, not four shots. So the last time I do feel, I don't think I had that wind against me, but I'm just going to take a bit of loft off of this. I am playing this shot. That should make it over there, no problem whatsoever. It should kick out. Damn. So that was a poor shot. Or should I say poor shot selection. The only saving grace is I'm not too far. 15. I am going to say that's playing 134. So I've really no idea this is going to come out here once again it's a decent strike going to be short it's going to be way short give me a nice bounce for once no don't be silly so 22 yards up seven feet just lofting this all the way up maybe not as much as that actually Oh, why, that is dreadful shot again, guys. So some of the shot selections from yours truly has been absolutely painfully bad. Need to chip this in for a part. It's got a chance. Come on! Why, man, and just... Just the way things have went for me recently, guys. Nothing seems to be dropping. Getting a lot of things that going against me, and that is another drop shot. And now setting up on the par three. So 199 yards down five. So 197. I'm going to say that's playing. Just going to have to take a bit off of this because I do feel it's not making over that bunker otherwise. Good straight strike, the wind should take me around nicely. I don't feel it's going to be close due to the yardage and the club I'm hitting into it. And it's closer than what I had hoped. Can I get this drop shot straight back? It is quite a tough putt, 14 feet down 4 inches, just breaking slightly to the right. Turn, 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 didn't turn at all. That ball did not turn. It held its line the whole way. Only saving grace is fairly easy par putt, which I think. So I just still feel, guys, the game mechanics are still not right. I do feel the greens at times are still an issue. They certainly are for me. Uh, 
this is a really dodgy shot for me guys the way I'm currently playing and that's a fast and I will be in the water make no mistake of that wow I am very 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 fortunate for that to not to go in the water so I have been given a, a huge break there guys to be fair Three, six, nine, twelve. that is playing 108 yards the wind behind me as well and coming off of this slope It is a perfect, perfect. This should be have a chance of being close. It should spin back a bit. No, it didn't. So I was just a bit long there. Once again, it's not an easy putt. Breaking left. It's going to favour to the left edge here. 12 feet, 5 inches down. Turn. Yes, so it's another decent putt. So I'm going to be nowhere near the top of the leaderboard, guys, but... That's a respectable score up on the hole if I can finish like this. So this is a par 5 finishing hole. I do get a perfect perfect on it. The wind should take me around nicely. Find that slope. 296 yards we managed to nail that down there. And like I did the last time, I am taking this on. I am shorter this time. I'm just lofting this up a bit. And as the previous time, I put a slow on that. I do feel I aimed a lot further left this time though. So, it's actually worked out okay due to me really putting the ball left. I did kind of allow for that. So I do have an eagle opportunity. It's breaking more to the right than it is to the left. Breaking two to the right. One, two, three to the left. Should have a chance. Should have a chance. Oh, and unfortunately it didn't drop. It will be a gimme birdie, basically. So I miss out on Eagle, but I do finish with a birdie. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that Hackers Paradise event. Good luck to everyone who's still yet to compete. Congratulations to the guys who are setting the, the pace out there on the leaderboard. Let's advance. So, after two rounds... I'm sure I, fa I gave that a 5 star rating before. I am currently sitting a 67 and a 64. I'm sitting 6. It's not bad. I was hoping for a bit better uh, performance for myself. But you can't always play well, guys. As long as I'm enjoying the game, which I am at times, I do get frustrated with. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video again. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, please keep liking my videos, guys. It gives me the urge to do more, and it helps the channel grow. That's it for today, guys. See you all in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Bye.